Hi guys and welcome back to Amy's Art Table. Today I have a sliced strawberry for you that I thought would be a really fun um, watercolor to practice some blending and some fruit for summertime coming up. So go ahead and grab your supplies. Um, you'll need a pencil to sketch this guy out too. And let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start by sketching out the strawberry. So what I've done here is I started off with about five leaves on the top and then um, a big almost heart shape for the strawberry slice and then a little heart in the center um, and that's pretty much it. It's going to be a pretty easy little sketch here. We're going to start with some wet on wet watercolor. So I'm going to grab a flat brush. I'm just going to work on um, getting the paper wet around the larger heart around the center heart. So this area in the center is where we want to get wet for a minute. We're going to use a nice bright red color for our strawberry and try to make a section or slice of the strawberry. Looking inside. All right, so I've got this paper wet here. And now comes the fun part. I'm going to mix up this red color with some water here. I'm going to go along the edge. I'm going to hope that this guy just starts blending really nicely. It looks like it is. I'm going to give myself a nice edge here. Lots of color today. We want this guy to be nice and bright. Nice, fun strawberry. We have Memorial Day coming up here pretty soon. Feels like it's almost summer, so we kick off with some fruit. Who doesn't love fruit, right? Okay, so we've got this nice blended outline here, and then we're gonna come back and do some more. And this time I'm going to be working the watercolor in towards the center. Um, my goal here is to leave a few, is to get a few stripes coming back at. So I'm going to work in the color towards the center and I want um, my white space to blend back out um, towards the outside edge, if that makes sense. So we're going to use water to do that. And... You can pull the color from the outside edge or start adding more color. Depends on how bright red you want your strawberry. I want mine to be really bright, so I'm going to use a lot of color today. And then something like that. I'm using these sideways strokes to just sort of pull this in so we get that nice line effect. And we'll just keep adding watercolor. It's getting a little dry here. I might add just a tinge more of water. So I really want to get that blendy effect. Okay, same thing on this side. So combination of red lines to create the white line effect and lots of blending here and lots of color. So this is one instance where we want to use a lot of watercolor because we really want this strawberry to look bright red. All right. I'm going to give it a nice shape here at the top. My edge is really bumpy, which doesn't really bother me, but you could go around and smooth out every, every bit of your edge to make it not so bumpy. You could even splatter this a little bit with some red. It might be kind of cool. Right, so this is our first main step here. 
We want our slice to look something like this. Now while we're doing red, we're going to do um, a little bit of wet on wet watercolor right in the center here. Okay. So I'm creating a shape within a shape within a shape. So this is going to be a smaller heart-shaped center. And then really start blending this center here. Again, lots of color. It's okay if this starts to connect to this. Right? And then up here towards the top, we'll leave it a little bit more white. Okay. Now, I'm going to very carefully start these leaves. I'm going to try not to bump in my green leaves into my strawberry, but if it happens, it's all right. So find a green color that you like. Um, I would say a medium green color. That might be too dark. A medium to light green color, and then we're going to need a darker green. So whatever color green that you choose now, make sure you have a darker one that you can use to detail this out. Okay, this is going to be sort of the simple, easy part of just coloring in these leaves with the lighter. Try not to bump, oh, I bumped my red. That's okay. I'm trying not to do that, but that's what I did. That's all right. It's because I'm working really quickly here so I can show you guys. So if that happens to you, what we're gonna do is grab a towel or a paper towel. Very carefully blot this. And I will go back and add some more green, okay? Okay. Filling back in with some green. Another option for you is to let your red dry before starting your green. I just have some time constraints today, so I have to paint this so that I can get some other paintings done. Okay, so there we are. Now at this point, I'm going to try to grab a smaller brush and a darker green. Again, you can let this um, dry in between these steps um, or you can allow it to blend, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm doing a very quick tutorial today. I'm going to allow this dark green to blend in. I'm going to focus on the edges of the leaves and trying to create some veins in the leaves with smaller lines. This is actually a great painting to go back. Um, so when this is all dry, I will go back and erase my pencil lines. But this is also a very great painting to ink. So if you have some proper ink pens, um, you can go back and add some really nice black line details to this little strawberry, especially on the leaves is what I'm really talking about. But you could also do a bit of the edge here. All right, so this is the basic gist of the strawberry. And I hope you enjoyed this super quick little tutorial today. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. And if you try my tutorial, please tag me because I would love to see your work. Um, I'm on Instagram at Amy's Art Table. And you can always comment here and I will see it. So have a fabulous week, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.